was uh, last three losses in a row hurt, but we're uh, we're on South Carolina now. What are your thoughts? Go ahead. Going back to the home state. <laughs> uh, this will actually be my third time playing in Williams Bryce, so it's exciting. I know a lot of folks should be there. Do you sense this is a kind of a crossroads game? I, I know you played a few games already, and you've still got a lot left. It, it, how critical is this game to maybe set a tone for November? Uh, this is huge, and uh, Coach Julie said this morning this is the last time where you get to face an opponent that's top 15, so like in the rankings right now. So uh, this is huge going forward to, to November. What do you remember about the last year's game with South Carolina? <laughs> uh, we lost. And uh, the first game out there, and I, I didn't play too well, but uh, if I get the shot this this time, hopefully I'll uh, perform a little better. What did you learn from that game? Um, I was nervous going out there, I'm not going to lie to you. and. Uh, just I needed to settle down, and we went out and beat MTSU the next week, and I felt like I played a pre pretty solid ball game that week. So I just needed to settle down a little bit. And how far ahead of you are you now compared to last year? So oh, it's are. it's. Um, I can't even compare myself from last year to this year. I, I've taken strides I'm proud of, and um, hopefully it, it transitions to how I play. Is there any you know, I mean, mental fatigue just going through a schedule like this? I mean. When you, when you, do you ever look at it and go, man, we could use a break this week? I mean, your, your all schedule looks like the BCS rankings. Uh, it's a tough schedule. It's the SEC. It's what you look for. It's why you come here. But, you know, we've gotten our break before our October stretch. We knew the stretch was going to be hard. So, you know, we just got to get in, rehab, um, take care of our bodies, watch extra film, and just, you know, take it as it comes because we know it's going to be a tough stretch where we've got to keep working. I mean, and you say, you say we know it's going to be Talk about Tyler. Uh, you know, I played against him the last two years. You know, great guy, long, you know, really long. He's about 6'8", six, 6'9", six, type of guy. But, uh, he, you know, he uses his strength in his long arms and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, Clowney's their playmaker. You know, he's, he's, he's going to try to make a bunch of plays, but I think Clowney will do well against him. Is this the best pass rushing team you'll face this year, you think? Or? Uh, definitely, you know, probably, you can see it stats-wise. You know, they have a – I think, you know, we're the second team in sacks as an offensive line, and they're like the second with sacks, I think. And, uh, I mean, it's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a good game. We're looking forward to it. You guys, I mean, I, I'm sure you take a lot of pride in not giving up the sacks, right? Mm, yes, sir, we do. You know, uh, I mean, ever since the beginning, you know, before the season started, we, you know, we didn't say we're going to be able to run the ball. We want to be able to protect Tyler and he'll make plays. So I feel like we've done a pretty good job. It's a, a sack, so, you know, it's not a turnover, but it's almost as bad as a turnover. Yeah, definitely, you know, especially on third down, third and long, stuff like that. Um, it changes the momentum of the game. You know, you lose yards and a down. It just, it just swings the momentum when you get a sack. So I'm glad we haven't, you know, had a lot of those this year. Now, are you thinking during the game, say if it's third and eight, third and 11, are you thinking don't give up a sack here <laughs> at that moment? Or? No, that's where I think a lot of people, you know, get sacked, thinking like that. We just think, you know, we're going to do our technique and, you know, believe in what we're doing and every play it just works out. And you start, when did y'all start noticing the number that it was only three that? Um, Really, this this past week, you know, a bunch of people came up and you know talked to us, saying, you know, congratulations, good job on this, keep keep up the good work in the passing game. But you know, we just want to get be balanced overall, you know, get the run game going. We fell back a little bit towards Alabama. I say this with confidence and not with uh, cockiness. They got two of the best defensive ends in the defensive ends in the country, but I think that we have one of the best offensive line in the, offensive lines in the country. And possibly two of the best tackles we in one, you know, the way we've been playing lately. So we just gotta go in there with confidence and just, you know, depend on each other. You know, looks we got to your right and your left and just know that, you know, that we can play with you guys. So when you watch these guys on film, do, do you just go ahead and say, okay, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's they're, what that's, they're, that's they're, you're ready for a fight mm -hmm. now? Yeah, that's exactly what we see. We see that they're good and we're just gonna go in there and not overhype them and just play. Um, beating South Carolina um, means a lot, you know. Um show us how much we matured from the loss of Alabama. You know, and um, and I feel like if we win Saturday, we're going to win out through the season, you know. Try to go 8-4 and four and get in a nice bowl game. You go from a front like Alabama to another terrific one with South Carolina. Talk about the challenge running the football against these guys Saturday. No, uh, I mean, I think we're going we gonna to do better this week, you know. Um, we already focused on, you know, going out there and not hitting like we do every week. You know, just um, getting more physical with them, you know. Um, we're not going to let the D-line decide on how we're going to run the ball. We're going to go out there and do what we do each week. Does it get harder and harder to keep that positive energy that, that you, you guys had it was just a month ago? Um, it is, you know, but it's not, you know. It all depends on us, what we want to do, uh, how we want the program to be, and uh, how we're going to go out there and play, you know, because it's all between the players. 
you know, the, I mean, the coaches can coach us, but um, they can't play for us. Right. It's all about how we want, how bad we want it as well. So, um, as of today, uh, everybody just ready to turn it around. Yeah. Yeah. Agree with the, all the stuff going on, the negativity, and, and you know, having the problems in the SEC. How, how do you guys approach this game mentally? What, how important is it to you, obviously? Uh, it's important because we just uh, trying to win a football game, man. Uh, I'm, I'm a senior. This is my last year. So the main focus is just winning a football game, playing some. How hard is it to keep the morale up when you are winning full in the SEC? Uh, it, it, it all depends because uh, we, we don't really know how guys really feel it mentally. But uh, physically, I think guys coming out here and practicing hard. So the main thing is just uh, getting, the, getting the mental guy, getting the mental uh, uh, component down on the team.